Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to learn about networking and when we talk about networking you only need to understand that a network is a connection between two or more computers. If somebody asks you what a network is, it is a connection between two or more computers. There is more in networking than just connections between computers. I want you to assume this is an office environment. We have a number of desktop. We have desktop 1, desktop 2, desktop 3. And we have one laptop. In the same office, we have a, a switch and we have a, a router and we also have a server. This is a, an, an iPad and this is a mobile phone. We want to make sure that these devices can communicate among each other. Let's start with the basic form of networking. So if you want this laptop to communicate with this desktop, we can connect the two using a cable. And this type of network is called peer-to-peer -peer network. You cannot go connecting these devices using a cable because these only have one or two ports. One port for Ethernet, I'm going to explain what Ethernet is. It is also have maybe HDMI. And the others are maybe USB ports. So you need to use these ports for other function, not just connecting to the internet. And you see this laptop is supposed to be connected to all these three desktops, a mobile phone, a tab, a server and a server so you it, this is not achievable with laptop so this course is about coming up with solutions that helps us connect devices in a standardized way that is a uh, neat and in a way that will help us achieve the objectives that we are we want to achieve by connecting these devices and this is what introduces us to this concept of the switch. But before I look at the switch and the router, I want to just highlight something you are already aware of. Uh, the first one is wireless networks. You are aware of wireless networks. Maybe you don't know how they work, but you know that uh, when you connect your mobile phone to your office network is wirelessly. And we have cabled networks. The keyboard network is called Ethernet network. It's called Ethernet network. Let's look at what I would want to call types of networks. This is not necessarily uh, basically types of network, but how networks are organized. And one of the way they are organized is by using this gadget we are calling a switch. So in this kind of arrangement, we can have a cable come out through the ports of a switch all the way to the computer. So this kind of connectivity that uses a, a switch such a way that if you connect, let's say just go to the nearest one, another one then goes to the server. Then we'll have another cable that comes all the way and goes to the linker. Then we have another cable that comes here all the way to the switch. The same with this. But of course these cables are well, well organized. They are not as the way I'm drawing them. They are neatly done in walls and well clipped at the end to achieve the objective. So when you have a network that has cables, so the switch will be switching. So when you receive, uh, this is the switch. Switch has ports, huh? port 1, port 2, port 3. 
So you connect probably this in port 1, this computer port 2, and this is port 3. So when this sends data to this port, this data is available in all the other ports. That is what switching is about. The data is sent to one port, but it is made available by the switch through the, all the other ports. So if you remove this cable and connect it here, it's still going to receive the signals of this switch. So for these two laptops to communicate, they are being assisted by the switch. And that is what we call switching. And you can you can call this switched network. You can call it Ethernet network. And it's also a keyboard that network. But the best way is to call it an Ethernet network. When you have this kind of connection where you have connected these devices together and they are able to communicate. The moment you connect one or two, two or more, it becomes a local area network. So a local area network is a network that belongs to one entity. It could be one organization, could be one home. So it's a private network that belongs to an entity. The entity can mean anything, a home, an organization, an office, a home, an office, a school. So when this network is restricted to a certain small area that is under the control of an organization, this is what we call a local area network. And uh, in my diagram, I have this, this equipment that are inside the office. We have some equipment here that are outside the building, outside building, and this other area for, for administration, you can call it admin area. So this is what we call a local area network. So this switch is supplying, is connecting devices in the office, the server room, and outside in your the place where you usually go out and bask in the sun probably under a tree now that we know what a local area network is there's another bigger network when a number of local area networks are joined together they form a metropolitan area network but there are restrictions up to how far a metropolitan area network can extend the diagram that I've, i'm showing here is a, a real estate and this real estate has amenities so this is the management office office this is where the, this whole estate is managed from so the management office this is this is a school there is a school inside there and this is a, a primary school and this is a, a secondary school there could be high school university or they could be organized in a different way we have a church where people go to worship or a mosque depending on which religion you, are, you come from and this is the the shopping center and the shopping center also have offices so this is a shopping center with offices and office blocks then down here we have homes where people live. All the, this area, because it's a controlled area, gets their internet from this one location. So the, the management office is the internet service provider and it is the same uh, that manages this whole network. These buildings are developed by these people. These same people provide networking, have done the networking services for these houses. So 
if you need like internet they have a router here that controls your internet and you also have your router at home that controls how you spend your internet and also for security if you want to do security and other configurations uh, this could be a city a city and uh, an estate or a connection of several buildings together but somehow being managed by a central office this is called um, called a metropolitan area network it's a bigger network that is more than local area networks and has local area networks that are interconnected these are local area network each house has a local area network there's one for secondary school local area network for school local area network for management office for church for the shopping center and these offices have a lot of of them each office inside here has a local area network every other office here has a local area network this place has let's say like 500 local area networks from different homes schools offices and all the services that are offered in this region so this is what we call a metropolitan area network that covers this distance could be starting from 5 all the way to 50 km but the distance is not so important it's this, the way it's organized is what is more important we have talked about a local area network we have also seen that when the local area network spans is organized as a city an estate or a, a, some buildings that are managed by a management office we call this metropolitan area network this metropolitan area network is not so common but the local area network and what you are going to look now which is wide area networks these are very common types of networks this is nairobi town Nairobi town has millions of local area networks. I've only given five. So there's a local area network here, a local area network here, a local area network here, local area network here. These lands are, are connected either directly or indirectly. Directly or indirectly. Outside you go to other cities you can call this maybe this is Kampala Uganda this is Accra in Ghana so these networks also connects to that huh? and also connects to that huh? then maybe this is somewhere like uh, United Arab Emirates this is Dubai so you connect again you will find this is somewhere like uh, Moscow so the same thing this connection between this then you go all the way to new york these are the other networks for new york they interconnect with each other uh, you will find maybe this is somewhere somewhere else like uh, texas the united states then this paris these are, these are the networks for paris and when i talk of texas there is also millions millions of networks here also here it's millions of millions of network millions of networks the same as here millions of networks so when you connect all these local area networks you get a wide area network but doesn't mean that you have to connect all of them even the connection between nairobi to paris only is a wide area network assume this is the local area network that we had explained in the previous video and this local area network only connects in another local area network in in paris and this is a head office and this is a branch in paris this is also a wide area network so it doesn't have to have all the globally connected con as long as you move from a local area network connects to another region it could actually be from within nairobi from nairobi to this could be jomo kenyatta international airport 
and this could be westlands in Nairobi. So even this connection is a wide area network. Even this connection is a wide area network. So it doesn't have to have the whole network. So the internet is the, the world's biggest wide area network.